Uh, there are a lot of definitions of cheating. We've heard of financial infidelity. We've heard of emotional infidelity. Like if you're confiding, if you're married and you're confiding uh, with somebody at work on the inner personal things that are going on in your relationship, a lot of people feel like that's emotional cheating. This one here has to do with love letters. So if you have something going on in your life and you want some advice from complete strangers around the country that are not invested in you at all, go ahead, hit us up at thebirdshow.com. Let's see if we can get you some honesty. Is keeping love letters considered cheating is the email. Hey, Bird Show. I'm looking for some advice that I didn't feel I could ask anyone in my life. I have a fiance and when we're in our late 20s. We're getting married in a few months. We've been together for five years. We recently moved into a bigger place together, and his parents moved out of state, so they unloaded all of his childhood items onto us. Ugh. Recently, <laughs> I was in our basement sorting through things when I came across his high school yearbooks. My curiosity got the best of me, so I opened one of them. Out fell tons of folded up letters, so I opened one. <laughs> it was from his high school sweetheart, who he who broke up with just a few months before we met. I started reading it, again, just out of curiosity. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And the letters from her were incredibly intimate and detailed. She wrote all about how amazing he was, how she knew that he was her future husband, best friend, soulmate, even how amazing the piano playing was. There were pages and pages of letters from her just like this. Must have been some good piano playing Mm -hmm. for you to write a whole sonata. Right? At first, (laughs) it made me laugh because it's just so not my style to spill my guts in a mushy love note, not even with my fiancé. But now I can't stop thinking about it. Our relationship wasn't perfect at the start. We had lots of issues, especially with infidelity. At times with him talking to her, this same ex, when we were on a break. We're at a good place now. But it still makes me think, should I be upset that these are in our home? I'm not sure if he even remembers they're there. So should I bring it up to him or never speak of it? Hmm. And should I be concerned that we don't share this kind of intense first love kind of love? I've always had the impression that he's been head over heels with her and never had quite as intense feelings with me in comparison. I feel my jealousy is getting the best of me when I'm the one that's supposed to be marrying him. That's it. Mm. Uh, no, it's not considered cheating. No. no. Um, they were great memories there. I, we've talked about this a lot. I mean, I know that there are some people that as soon as you break up, all the pictures are gone. They get deleted. Uh, it's almost like it was deleted from your history. And I guess I got kind of a cheesy, naive, optimistic view on it. I feel like all those past relationships that I was in, got me to where I am right now with the woman that I am going to spend the rest of my life with. I learned so many lessons, but that doesn't mean I didn't have a lot, a lot of really great times with other women, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I would feel away. The, the, you would? Yeah, I really? would. I don't know if I would say anything because I wouldn't feel like I have the right to say anything. I mean, if you want to keep these love letters, that's that's your business. I, I, I wouldn't say anything about it, but I would feel away. Huh. I'm going to probe you on that one in a second. Mm -hmm. Not physically. (laughs) Good. (laughs) I am not prepared for that. Um, I I think if it, your books should be off limits. You know, that is so old. But she does say that he was still dating that high school sweetheart until, you know, like anything in a yearbook that's fallen out of a yearbook, it hasn't been touched in a while. Mm -hmm. His family brought over all kinds of stuff that he doesn't even know is down there. So I would say since it's bothering you, bring it up. Be like, I found all these intimate letters. And he might throw them out or burn them right in front of you. It's not like pictures of him and his ex in intimate situations. It's Mm. not photos. Like, I think of it as like an old MySpace DM. Like, really? (laughs) Like, really? What? Like, it's an old letter. It's an old love letter, and a lot of people keep those. They're cute. It was high school times. You're going to marry this guy. You should be so over this. But since you're not, it's going to bite at you and then you're going to start going through all of his other crap that he doesn't even know is down there bring it up be like these fell out do you want to keep these they're very intimate that would annoy me if i if someone brought it up yeah if tiffany found some of those i don't even think i have them in the house uh but let's say right it would annoy me like so what does that have to do with what we have how does this threaten what we have right now it just feels super insecure to me like That was years and years and years ago. And chances are pretty good that you threw them in a box. I have never reread 
a love letter from high school ever. I yeah. might have saved it, but I will never read it. Right? Mm-hmm. They're they're out there, you I know? know. And right? there's there's all kinds of stuff written in my yearbook that I'm like, I can't vouch for that guy. I don't know, you know, like whatever or letters that are out there in boxes somewhere in my house. But I don't think my husband would care. And now that I'm saying, oh, since it's bothering you, bring it up to him. I know since it's bothering you and you're going to bring it up to him, you expect a certain reaction. If you don't get it, yep. that's why uh, I you're going to be anything. real mad. So now I don't want to say anything. So just for a second here, why would it annoy you so much? Like this is not a statement about your current relationship. You know she wouldn't be getting back with him. These are letters from the past. So why would it bother you so much that she kept them? That exact reason. I don't know that I would be annoyed by it, but I would feel like, why do you need them? It's from your past. You're not going back there. What do you need them for? So like, you, what is the point? Would you, like, bring them out and be like, hey, I'm going to throw these away for you because no. you don't need them I, anymore? See, I wouldn't do I would want to, yeah. but I wouldn't I wouldn't react that way, though. I wouldn't yeah. do that. I would really just, I would deal with it. But in, in the back of my head, I would feel like that's what your brain is for, to oh. keep those memories, what you need the notes for. Okay. <laughs> the Bird Show.